Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise be to God, praise the name of Jesus. Our God is good, our God is good, our God is good. Our God is a refuge, a refuge of strength for his people. He is a stronghold, our standby, our hiding place. Our God is good, our God is good. We bless him, we bless him, we bless him. We bless him this evening, we bless him in the name of Jesus. Our God is a faithful God. He is merciful, he is kind. He is our refuge, our hiding place. He is our stronghold, he is the strength of his people. Father, we thank you. We've come unto you this evening. Thank you, Father, for great testimony, great victory as we go into this prayer session in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. We are ready to pray. We are ready to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to seek the face of God. It's time. It's time. Prayer time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Our God is a good God. Thank you everyone for joining me this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are going to be praying. It's time to pray. It's time to seek the face of God. A lot is happening. And we want God Almighty to intervene. We want God Almighty to bring solution to these things that are happening. So we are going to pray. When we pray, God answers. When we pray, God answers. He's the God that answers prayers. It's to him that all men shall come. And we've come to him in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. We are going to pray this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see some some of you already, Daddy Elijah. God bless you. (laughs) Mbadi Wekana, you're my brother. God bless you. My sister, God bless you. Thank you for joining me this evening. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be amazing. We are going to pray because God has shown me a few things that are happening. Things are happening in the spirit realm. And we don't want to keep quiet. We don't want to be deceived. We don't want to just sit down quietly and let things take us on our ways. So we want to pray. We want to seek the face of God. We want God to guide us. We want God to direct us. We want God to intervene in our situation at this time. We don't want to sit down quietly and let things happen to us. We are going to pray. We are going to say, God, we want your divine guidance, intervention in what is happening right now. Yes, we know that the coronavirus is attacking right now. And many people have fallen sick. But there are people out there that want to use this as an agenda. There are people out there that want to use this coronavirus as an agenda to do other things. So we are going to pray. Bible says if we pray, God will answer. If we pray, God will help us. If we pray, God will do what we can't do. So we are going to pray and God will do what we cannot do in the name of Jesus. Please let us pray before we start in the name of Jesus. Mighty Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will come and lead this session this evening, Holy Spirit. We pray that as many as we hear this, that their lives will never be the same in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, the Bible says that you are here. The Bible says that when we don't know what to pray, that you will guide us. We are asking for you to guide us in this prayer session that we have this evening, Holy Spirit. That you will guide us, that you will lead us, that you will direct our footsteps in our prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you all. For those of you who have already joined, we are expecting more people to join. God bless you, uh, Daddy Elijah. God bless you, Cla- Clara. God bless you, Debbie. God bless you. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. As we pray, I believe that God Almighty will intervene in our lives and things will change, things will be different. 
please while i am pre uh, um, sharing send us your likes your comments uh, and 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 let us know what you think send those comments send those likes we really need them thank you god bless you in the name of jesus i want to just go to the bible and bring us a scripture that um, I think is going to be the foundation of our prayer this evening. The Bible says in Isaiah 8, verses 9, Raise up the war cry, you nations, and be shattered. Raise up the war cry, you nations, and be shattered. Listen, all you distant lands. Prepare for battle and be shattered. Prepare for battle and be shattered. Devise your strategy, but it will be thwarted. Propose your plans, but it will not stand. For God is with us. God is with us. I'm going to read that again. Isaiah chapter 8 from verses 9. It says, raise up the war cry, you nations, and be shattered. Listen, all you distant lands, prepare for battle and be shattered. Prepare again for battle and be shattered. Devise your strategy, it will be thwarted. Propose your plans, it will not stand. For God is with us. Listen very carefully to me. There is something that is happening in the spirit realm. The coronavirus is here. Yes, the coronavirus is a virus. Because we cannot see it, we need to be careful. And I support what the government is doing, like the closing down certain places, so that people will not, you know, transmit this one to another. But I'm telling you, it's going to into another realm. Like what they are telling the government here in this our land right now is that People will have to stay home for six months to one year. People will have, may have to stay home up to six months or one year. You want to lock people up for six months to one year in their houses. Why? This is a satanic agenda. And this, this particular agenda is to kill and to destroy many lives. So many small businesses will not be able to survive. Even right now, businesses are already crying. Why do you want to lock up people in the house for six months? I don't think it's because of the coronavirus anymore. Okay, they said if the virus, if, if somebody has the virus, it takes about 14 days to 21 days for it to manifest. Now, families and children, everybody is locked up at home. Okay, if somebody has that infection and it has been at home for four weeks, that infection should be able to come out to be treated. After four weeks, why are you now saying you want to keep people at home for six months? What do you want people to sit down at home and be doing for six months? This is a satanic agenda. We need to pray. God knows what we need. God knows what we need. It's okay. God knows what we need. When we pray, God will intervene. We need to pray. Because when we pray, the Holy Spirit is on earth. The Holy Spirit is here. The Holy Spirit knows what we need. The Holy Spirit is still the governor of the universe. The Holy Spirit is still the one that God put on earth to govern this earth. We are not going to sit down and allow the devil and his agents to finish us off. God Almighty is said to call this prayer session as many Christians as can pray. Let us begin to pray. The coronavirus, yes, it's a virus, but there is power in the word of God against it. If Christians sit down quietly, we don't do anything, they're going to shut the church down, they're going to shut everything down, and then destroy the lives of people. How are people going to survive when you lock people up in their homes for the next six months? So we need to wake up. 
every Christian, no matter where you are, begin to pray. Coronavirus is a virus. We have the power through the blood of Jesus to command this virus to cease. But those people that do not want this thing to finish, they want to use it for news. They want to use it to destroy people's lives. It's not going to prosper in the name of Jesus. I want us to begin to pray right now. Let us begin to thank God. If you can pray in the language of the Spirit, I want you to use the language of the Holy Spirit to pray. We are going to begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to thank God. Let us begin to thank Him because He is with us. Let us begin to thank God because God is with us. Let us begin to thank God because as long as He is with us, we are not going to be put to shame. Nothing is going to happen to us. Let us begin to thank God this evening. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we want to thank you. We praise you. We thank you, O God, because you are good. You are faithful. You are a refuge of strength. You are our hiding place. Father, we begin to thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you. Father, we exalt you. King of kings, we bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Father, we begin to thank you this evening. We want to thank you because you are faithful. We want to thank you because you are merciful. We want to thank you because you are kind. A refuge of strength. You are our hiding place, O God. You are our standby. You are the strength of your people. Let us begin to praise God. Let us begin to thank God because he is there for us. God is there as an ever-present help. We are not going to be put to shame. We are not going to fail. Let us begin to thank God for His loving kindness, His tender mercies over our lives, over our families. In the name of Jesus, let us begin to thank God. We are not going to fail. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Holy Spirit, we exalt you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We have come to pray. We have come to seek your face, O God. We have come, Father, at this time. Because we are not going to keep quiet. We are not going to just lie down and let the devil shut us down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your tender mercies upon our lives. We thank you for your tender mercies upon our lives. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you, Father God, for you are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. We bless you. We bless you. If you are at home, just begin to thank God. Begin to thank him. Let us praise him. Let us saturate our praises. Let our praises go up before we begin to pray in the name of Jesus. For our God is alive. Our God is alive. Our God is alive. He is a living God. God. He is a living God. He is a faithful God. Our God is mighty. Our God is powerful. We are not going to fall. We are not going to fall. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Some of you that have just joined us, you are welcome. You are welcome. Tina, Patricia, I see you, my daughter, gifted. I see you. God bless you. Uh, Tina, God bless you. Every, all, everyone that is joining us, I see my big sister. Sister, God bless you. God bless you. You are all welcome. We are going to pray. We are praying. Oh, it's time to raise up the war cry. It's time to raise up the war cry. In the name of Jesus. Earlier on, I read from Isaiah chapter 8. Isaiah chapter 8 verses 9 says, Raise up the war cry, you nations, and be shattered. Listen, all you distant lands. Prepare for battle and be shattered. Prepare for battle and be shattered. Devise your strategy. It will not work. For God Almighty is with us. So God is saying there are people that are devising strategies. But those strategies will not work. There are people that are devising strategies against us. But those strategies will not work. Because God Almighty is with us. The mighty God is with us. 
Our God never fails. And because he is with us, we are going to defeat every satanic network. Every satanic network being programmed to bring down the system of the world. There is an agenda. They are just using the coronavirus. Because of the coronavirus, the whole world is in shutdown. Everywhere is in shutdown. People can't move again. God Almighty has not planned that for us. I want us to begin to pray. The first prayer point I want you to take is, let every organized strategy of the host of the demonic world against our lives, against our nation, be rendered useless in the name of Jesus. Listen to this prayer point. Let every organized strategy of the host of the demonic world against our destiny, against our lives, against our families, let them be rendered useless in the name of Jesus. Every organized wickedness is organized. They make it look as if oh, it's for your own good. But there is an agenda behind it. Let every organized strategy of the host of the demonic world against our lives, our families, our nations, let them be rendered useless in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin. If you know the language of the Spirit, pray, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We begin to thank you, Father God. Every organized wickedness, every wickedness designed to paralyze the economy of the world, every wickedness designed, Father God, in disguise to destroy families and businesses, every organized wickedness intended to bring the, the third world order into the into the into the world, Father God. Every camouflage of the enemy be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Shakata to prop up every demonic organized work of darkness fashioned against our world right now, fashioned against our families in the name of Jesus Christ. We say, Father God, pray, 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 pray. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, help us to pray, Father God. Every agenda, every satanic agenda, be destroyed, be wiped out and destroyed. Father, we thank you. We thank you because you have delivered us from the power of darkness and you have translated it us into the kingdom of your dear son in whom we have redemption, Father God, through the blood of Jesus, even the forgiveness of our sins. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We begin to thank you, Lord. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Every satanic network. Mashakitayala Satakaka intended the to shut us down. We say no. We say no. We say no. We say no. We stand against every demonic agenda. 
by the power in the name of Jesus. We stand against every demonic agenda by the power in the blood of Jesus. We stand against demonic agendas in the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus, we pray against satanic agenda. I want you to pray. Pray, don't stop praying. We need to pray at this time. Mashikara to the Bible said, even one we chase a thousand, two we chase ten thousand. Pray, pray, my brothers and sisters. You cannot afford not to pray at this time. Hey, I wish you can see what they are planning. Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Holy Spirit, pray through us. Pray through us. Pray through us. Pray through us. In the name of Jesus. I want us to take the next prayer point. The next prayer point. I want us to pray against the spirit. There is a spirit that is attached to this coronavirus. I want you to know that it's a spirit. There is a spirit that is attached to this coronavirus. Now listen to me. The answer is in the church. As we pray. God will give the medical people the wisdom they need. A virus is a spirit. Virus is a spirit. So the answer is in the church. It's in the prayers of God's people. We need to pray against the spirit that is attached to this virus. We need to pray against the demonic spirit. That is operating this virus. In the name of Jesus. God Almighty said in his word. That he will not allow any plague. To come near us. God Almighty says he will not allow plague. To pass through our land. Coronavirus is a spirit. So we need to pray against the demon. That is attached to that spirit. This spirit of coronavirus, we need to attack from the source in the name of Jesus. When we deal with coronavirus in the spirit, it will disappear. Now they are saying, our NHS may collapse, blah, 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 blah. All is fear. We want to pray against the spirit. If you can pray in the language of the Holy Spirit, let us pray against the spirit of coronavirus. It's a spirit. And we send the blood of Jesus. We send the blood of Jesus to the root source of where this coronavirus has come from. Let us begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you right now. We begin to address the source of this coronavirus. Coronavirus is a spirit. We attack that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you can pray in the spirit, pray in the language of the spirit of God. Let us attack this coronavirus from the source. In the spirit realm, we finish it off. Why? By the blood of Jesus Christ, we come against the coronavirus. <laughs> The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We come against the coronavirus by the power of the blood of Jesus. We put an end to the coronavirus by the blood of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, we thank you, 
we thank you, we thank you, oh God. We put an end in the realm of the spirit to this coronavirus. Makashira, Holy Spirit, pray through us, intercede for us, the spirit of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Pray in the language of the Spirit. My brothers and sisters, pray. Let the Holy Spirit intercede for us with groanings that cannot be altered. Father, we thank you. We defeat the coronavirus in the realm of the spirit by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus wants us to In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We bless you, oh God. We bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Spirit of God. I want us to pray. Let us pray for the people that have been infected with this virus. Let us pray for the places that this virus is wreaking havoc. Let us pray for the people that have been infected. That there will be healings, that the death will stop. That the angel of death will stop, there will be healing. People will miraculously recover from this virus. Begin to pray. Pray for the people that have been infected across the nations of the world. Pray for those people that have been infected. That there will be miraculous cure, cure, cure. Your Father God, people will just begin to recover. People will just begin to recover. People will just begin to recover. People will begin to recover. People will begin to recover. Hey, we come on miraculous recovery. Yeah. We come on miraculous recovery. People are recovering from this virus. Father, we thank you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. I shout that we thank you, Jesus. We command miracles, 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 miracles. We command it turn around. Father, thank you. Mighty God, thank you. We want to pray for families and doctors and people who are looking after those that have been infected with this virus. We want, it's not easy to look after people that are sick. 
there are doctors and nurses and families and loved ones mm. that are right now caring for the sick. Mm. Not only people who are sick of coronavirus, but other sicknesses. Mm. Let us pray for those people that God will strengthen, mm. God will guide, God will protect them also that they will not fall mm. as they look after those that are sick around them. Mm. Let us begin to pray. Mm. Pray, my brothers and sisters. Mm. Father, we want to thank you. There are people right now, some of them even sacrificing their lives. Father, we pray, oh, for loved ones, doctors, nurses, strengthen them, shield and protect them. The blood of Jesus, let the Lord send them help, send them help from your sanctuary, send them help from your sanctuary. Send them help from your sanctuary, oh God. Father, you have sent help. We receive help on behalf of our brothers and sisters across the world that are caring for loved ones that are sick. We receive help in the name of Jesus. research in the labs they are looking for cure for this virus but let me tell you there is a cure already there is a cure already let us pray that there will be light light that the light of god will shine on the medical team and the people that are looking for solution that the light of god we illuminate the vaccine or whatever it is needed with that natural whatever it is needed because the people of the world they need to know that there is a living God let us pray that God in his mercy light 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 there will be light for a vaccine a vaccine or something that when people take it within a few hours they've recovered from this virus begin to pray 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 light 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 father right now they're in their labs they're looking for one cure or another mighty god we ask for light 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 father anointed christian doctor somewhere the one that will give you glory Now, 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 
we reach forth in the realm of the spirit and we take that vaccine. We take it. We pull it down right now, right now, right now, right now. Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Father, thank you. We 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 thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. We are praying for a breakthrough. Because you see, the people who want to accomplish certain agendas are using this virus as an excuse. There is a certain agenda they want to accomplish, but they want to use the virus as an excuse. So we say no. We say no. We say no to demonic agendas. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is a good God. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. There are people right now that are going around in fear. My brothers and sisters, let us pray. There are people that don't have God. I know it's easy for us in the church. We pray for ourselves. We pray for our brothers and sisters. Let's pray for our world. Let's pray for the people that don't know God right now. There is fear. There is panic. People are panicking. I wrote this book called No Harm, No Plague Shall Befall You. I wrote this book, No Harm, No Plague Shall Befall You. Unbelievers have been buying this book like crazy because they don't have what we have. They don't have what we have. So let us pray for them. If it affects them, it affects us in the church too. Let us pray for unbelievers. That God will use this opportunity that we will be able to win souls. That we will be able to tell them, do not fear. I wrote this book, no harm, no plague, no virus shall befall you. They've been buying it. I put a chapter there for them to tell them that God loves them. He wants to be their friend. God wants to be their friend. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. As you pray for your family, remember to pray for those who don't even know how to pray. Do you know that we have a generation of people who haven't even heard about Jesus? Let us begin to pray. Pray. Pray with all your heart that the glory of God will reach these people. These people that don't know Christ. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for our fellow brothers and sisters in the world. Our brothers and sisters in the world. Those that don't know you, Father God, there are so many out there. If they only knew you, they will worship you, they will come to you, Father. But they don't know you, Father God, we pray for our brothers and sisters that don't know you. Oh, Father, we pray for the unbeliever that does not know you. At this time, people are afraid. They don't know what's going to happen to them. We pray that you will give us the opportunity to remember them in our prayers, oh God. Angels, the angels of the Lord, help us to reach out to our brothers and sisters that don't know you. Help us, Father God, not to be complacent in sharing you with others, oh God.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. There are people who want to use what is happening right now to their advantage. There are people who have a satanic agenda. There are people out there who want to use what is happening. Coronavirus has become an opportunity for them to accomplish their demonic agenda being used by the enemy. Let us begin to pray. If you can pray in tongues, pray in tongues. That the devices of the crafty will fail. The Bible says he frustrated the devices of the crafty. That their hands will not achieve his enterprise. God said, let them devise their strategy. It will be shattered. Any man or woman being manipulated from the spirit realm. Who wants to use this incident that is going on right now to achieve a satanic agenda we stand in the realm of the spirit and we command their plans to be shattered 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 there are christians we must go forward and preach the gospel we come against demonic agendas. Satan, we enforce the authority of Jesus against you. We enforce the authority of Jesus against the devil and his agents. You've been nailed to the cross, Satan. When the man or woman you are using, Makashila. <laughs> We paralyze the hand of the crafty. I say we paralyze the hand of the crafty. Their hands will not achieve this enterprise. Demonic agenda, satanic agenda. Pupa, pupa, 
pumpa, 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 kata, kata, kata. The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to pray for the church, for the ministers, that at this time, the church is supposed to be speaking. When something like this is happening, in those days, they will go and ask the seer, the prophet, they will say, what is your God saying? That the voice of the church will rise across the world. When things are happening like this, they will go and ask the church. These people are acting based on what they know. Close down this one. Close down airport. Close down this. That is not the answer. But because the church is not in her place to speak. This is why these things are happening. Let us pray for the church. That God will restore our voice. That God will forgive our sin. That God will help us. In the name of Jesus, let us pray for the church. Father God, we bow down at your feet. We repent. We repent, Father God, where we have failed. Where we have failed, Father, we repent. That you will raise us up again, that our voice will be counted among the voice of those who speak, Father. It used to be in those days that when there was a calamity, the kings will go to the seer and say, what is God saying? What is your God saying? Father God, raise up those voices in the church again. That the world will respect and honor us when they see you, when they see you speak to us and it comes to pass. When they see your power, they will believe, Father God. Restore us again, Father God. Where we have missed it, forgive us, Father God. Have mercy upon us. Forgive us our failings, O God. Where we have lost focus, mighty God, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy. Let your mercy cover us, Father God. Let your mercy cover us. Mercy, mercy. In the name of Jesus. As I was praying that prayer point, I saw a demonic network set up against the gospel i want us to pray again it's not gonna work it's not gonna work it's not gonna work we have the power we have the power pray in the language of the spirit and unleash power upon the church of the lord jesus let us come and power upon the church of the lord jesus go in the realm of the spirit and I pour down raw fire in their conference where they have gathered against the church I pour down raw fire 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 remove all of you one by one by one by one yeah papa you are too small to plan against the church you are too small to plan against the church of jesus father 
Father, thank you. We bless you. We bless you, Father God. 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 Let God arise. Let his enemies. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Almighty God, we exalt you. We thank you. I want you to begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We cover our lives. Cover yourself, your family, everything that pertains to you with the blood of Jesus. <sighs> the blood, 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 the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We cover our lives with the blood of Jesus. We cover our destiny with the blood of Jesus. We cover our comings and goings with the blood of Jesus. No weapon from against us. Our our families, our loved ones shall prosper. We plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Thank you, God, for you are watching our comings and our goings. God watches over our comings and our goings. God is with us. No weapon formed, fashioned, shaped against any of us shall prosper. None of you will die before your time. None of us will be wasted. Our lives will never be wasted in the name of Jesus. Our businesses will not fail. Our ministries will not collapse. In the name of Jesus. We come against satanic agenda. To scatter the church. To scatter the, 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 the livelihood of people. We come against it by the blood of Jesus. We open up our churches again. For God Almighty said we should not forsake the gathering and the gathering of his people. In the name of Jesus Christ, we open up our churches again. We open up our businesses again. We open up our ministries again by the blood of Jesus Christ. We go in the realm of the spirit. We curse the root of wickedness. We command the wickedness of Satan to be shut up. Shut up, Satan. Injustice, shut your mouth. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Thank you, Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we bless God. Cover you all with the blood of Jesus. Thank you all for joining me this evening. We bless God. We thank God. Tomorrow we shall continue again from 6 to 7. Praying against satanic agendas. I want us to go full one week. And I'm telling you, you will see what will happen. April is going to be a time of resurrection. April will be a time of resurrection. The name of Jesus will be glorified as we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful. I have written this brand new book called No Harm, No Plague Will Befall You. No harm, no plague, no virus will befall you. Get this book for your family, for your friends, for yourself, so that you can know how to pray properly. It's so, so, so important. So, so, so important that you know how to pray properly. This is not the time to joke. Get this book with... People are buying it, they are giving it to their family and to their friends. We cannot keep quiet. We must know how to pray properly. Our God is a good God. Go to the website, even on my Facebook uh, page there. If you scroll down, you can see all the information. Get copies and bless your family and friends. Let us pray properly. It's so important. Our God is a good God. The Lord bless you, and I'll see you all again tomorrow evening. God bless you, Pamela. Pamela is online. Happy birthday to you. May the Lord bless you and add many wonderful years to your life in Jesus' name. Grace, faith, grace, God bless you. Jennifer, God bless you. Becky, oh, God bless you. 
God bless you. Those are the ones I can see, but I know we have a lot of people. God bless all of you. Thank you for joining me. Tomorrow we will continue again from 6 to 7. We are praying up to next weekend. We'll be praying every day for one hour to defeat every network, every lie. It's so important that we pray. Please share this video with people that you know we need it. Also, invite some other people to join us in prayer tomorrow. Thank you all so much for joining me. I love you so much and God bless you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.